You are watching CCF Makati, changing lives for eternity. Okay, now let us start with this. Who or what are you? Allow me to go down. Magtatanong ako, ha? Who or what are you? How would you introduce yourself? I'm a senior. Oh, kita niyo na. I'm a senior, sabi niya. Opo. Mano po. Who or what are you? Ayan. I'm an employee. Employee. Okay. Si sir. I'm a work in progress. Oh, narinig niyo yun? I'm a work in progress. Who or what are you? A believer of Christ. Ayan. O ba't nakatingin kayo sa baba? Lalapitan ko kasi kayo. Who or what are you? Employee. 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 Okay. Hindi ba N? Who or what are you? I'm a servant of Christ. Uy, I'm a servant of Christ. Student. Student. Ah, student. Okay, hindi ko na mapunta yung likod. Meron bang gustong sumagot? Lalapitan ko. Sige. Who or what are you? I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. Parang kanta yan, ha? Servant of Christ. Servant of Christ. Ayan. Sige, dito. Servant of of Christ then. Oh, copy paste. Huh? <laughs> okay. Ah, who or what are you? Uh, to to be a better person. To be a better person. Now, what am I? Why am I asking these questions? Bakit kasi minsan we go through life hindi na natin kilala kung sino tayo. Tama po ba? Ah, dito maganda dito. Who or what are you? The ransom of Christ. The ransom of Christ. Ang tinubos ng Panginoong Yesus. Okay. Napakaganda. Okay. We're looking at the book of Acts. And the last part of the Acts, nakafocus sa kanyang servant na si Apostle Paul. Tama? Pakikigan natin kasi Pablo tinatanong eh, sino ka ba talaga? Okay. Sa 1 Corinthians 15.10, again, This was written by Paul. Ito sabi niya, by, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And His grace toward me did not prove vain, but I labored even more than all of them. Yet not I, but the grace of God with me. Okay. Ano ba yung grace na yan? By the grace of God. Yan. So ano, what is that grace? Grace is the unmerited favor of God that saves us So we are saved by grace through faith and causes us to say no to ungodliness sa kasamaan and worldly passions. Yung makasanlibutang mga pagnanasa and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. Napakaganda, the grace of God. Pakisabi, grace of God. Alam niyo, biyaya ng Diyos, something na hindi natin karapat dapat tanggapin, hindi tayo pwedeng magde-demand. Hindi tayo entitled dyan. It's only by God sa kanyang biyaya, binibigay niya yon. That's salvation. Kaya nga po, as we look this afternoon sa mensahe natin in the book of Acts, what is your life story? Your life testimony. Kung ikaw tatanungin, sino ka ba? Empleyado, simpleng manggagawa. Yung isa, anak ng Diyos. Di ba? Isang alagad ng Panginoon. Well, tingnan po natin ngayon. As we continue with our series on the book of Acts, Truth Matters. Last time, if you were here, uh, review, review, the key verse in the book of Acts is found in chapter 1, verse 8. Basahin natin lahat. Go! But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the remotest part of the earth. Sino yung you na tinutukoy dito? It's none other than committed Christ follower. If you say, 
I belong to Jesus Christ. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Ikaw yung you. Sabi ng Panginoon, you will receive power. Magkakatanggap ka ng kapangyarihan as the Spirit of God comes upon you. And so, we look at the whole book of Acts para review lang po. Ito yung key verse, Acts 1.8. So, the whole book talks about you and I being witnesses for God, empowered by the Spirit of the living God. Kaya kahit saan tayo mapapunta, pumunta ka ng Hong Kong, punta ka ng Middle East, America, punta ka Europa, God wants you to be His witnesses. Pakisabi, witnesses. Alam niyo ba, ibig sabihin ng witness? It comes from the Greek word martyrus, meaning martyr. Handa ka bang mamatay para sa Panginoon? Ha? Huh? It means someone who gives his life for that cause of Christ. And so, the whole book overview, the church as Christ's witness, chapter 1, verse 1, hanggang chapter 8, verse 4, the witness in Jerusalem. Kasi nga, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now, pagdating ng chapter 8, verse 5, up to 12:25, the witness in Judea and Samaria. Si Philip yung naging, ano dito, uh, uh, principal character. Dun sa first part, si Peter, witness in Jerusalem. Pagdating sa witness to the ends of the earth, ayan na. First missionary journey si Paul and Barnabas. Chapter 13, verse 1, up to 14, 28. And then nagkaroon ng uh, parang uh, recess, nagkaroon ng Jerusalem Council. This is considered the first church council. Bakit nagkaroon ng church council? To settle an issue. Nagkaroon ng question. That early, yung church, marami ng binabatong mga katanungan. Pinupuntiriya, inaatake. No, the church is under attack already first century. At sabi nga nila, para maging totoong Christian kayo, kailangan gayahin nyo yung gawa ng mga Hudyo. Pero hindi na po yun. Because today, God looks at all nations classified into three groups. The Jew, the Gentile, and the church. Yung church comes from both Jew and Gentile na nagtitiwala kay Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Natandaan nyo, yung church, nagtitiwala kay Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Walang particular name. Okay? It is the blood-bought, blood-washed people of the living God. Now, pagdating ng 1536 up to 1822, this is the second missionary journey. And then, the third missionary journey of Paul from 1823 up to 2116. Pagkatapos noon, up to chapter 28, the trip to Rome. Now, many Bible teachers tell us, hindi pa natatapos yung book of Acts. Why? Mero Acts chapter 29. It is still being written today. To the ends of the earth, tayo na ngayon. It is the Holy Spirit of God working through each one of us as His own witnesses. So ito yung mapa ng uh, uh, the known world, nakasentro sa Middle East, Jerusalem. First missionary journey, itong travel ni Paul from Antioch, si Lucia, nagpunta ng island of Cyprus, nakarating dun sa Asia, which is modern Turkey. Second missionary journey, this time, nakarating na sila ng Europe, doon sa Greece. Umabot na yung missionary journey ni Paul, missionary team niya. Okay? Hanggang sa Athens, nakarating sila Balik sa Antioch. And then, third missionary journey, ayan na, mas marami siyang napuntahan. Okay? From Antioch, land trip, Cilicia, and then Asia, papunta ng Jerusalem. And then, last week, if you were here, we talked about Acts 21. Yung mga huling verses doon, as Paul was about to be brought into the barracks, he said to the commander, may I say something to you? He said, do you know Greek? Then you are not the Egyptian who some time ago stirred up a revolt, led the 4,000 men of the assassins out into the wilderness. But Paul said, I'm a Jew of Tarsus in Cilicia, a citizen of no insignificant city. Now, dito pa lang, sinasabi na ni Pablo, citizen ako ng Rome. He was a Roman citizen. I beg you, 
allow me to speak to the people. When he had given him permission, Paul standing on the stairs, motioned to the people with his hand, and when there was a great house, he spoke to them in the Hebrew dialect, saying, Nabitin tayo. Sabi nga, para malaman nyo kung anong susunod sa sabi ni Paul, umaten kayo ngayon. Now, some of you probably this your first time here. So, nagkaroon tayo ng little background para alam nyo na yung ating pinag-uusapan. Okay? Nasa, natapos na ni Paul yung third missionary journey. And he was already right here. Uh, being tried sa Jerusalem, nagkaroon na ng mga chaos, ng mga rumbling, yung mga tao gusto siyang gulpihin, patayin. Pero sabi niya, hayaan niyo magsalita ako. Now take note of this. As a faithful and true Christ committed follower, Paul would always enthusiastically take every opportunity to witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Galit yung mga tao sa kanya, gusto siyang saktan. He already experienced maraming panggugulpi sa mga tao, pinagbabato siya, kung ano-ano ginawa sa kanya. And yet, Every time he's, he would see an opportunity, allow me to speak to the people. So, tinanong si Pablo, Paul, who are you? He would say, I'm a faithful witness for the Lord. Pwede ba nating masabing ganon sa ating sarili? Are you a witness for Christ? Pag tinig ng kayo ng kapitbahay o ng sarili niyong family, ng mga ka-office mates niyo, do they see Jesus Christ in you? Pag kayo nagsalita, maririnig kaya nilang Panginoon. Gracious words would flow out. O baka galit kagad. Tandaan nyo, whether we like it or not, people look at us. Especially pag sinabi nyo, I'm a follower of Christ. I'm a Christian. Eh, tingnan nga natin. Anong klaseng tao ay ang Christian-Christian na yan? Baka pareho lang natin yan. Baka mas malala pa. Delikado. Instead of honoring and glorifying the Lord our God, mabibigyan pa natin siya ng kahihiyan. Now, we also saw last week, love traits of Christ's true servants. Nandiyo sa kanya yung forgiveness. Mapagpatawad dito. Hindi yan mag susulat ng record. Tandaan mo, nakasampu ka na sa akin. Bantayan mo yan. Gaganti rin ako. Sa kanya, forgiveness means you release the person. Patatawarin mo na. Kahit hindi pa siya mingi ng forgiveness, hindi nag-apologize, kahit hindi pa nag-apologize, patawarin mo. Patawarin. Okay? Meron bang taong hanggang ngayon, galit pa kayo? Patawarin nyo na. If you really want to experience the fullness of God's blessings, okay? Pakisabi mo sa katabi, magpatawad ka na nga, oh. Yan, ha? And of course, hospitality. Tinatanggap niya sa bahay niya. Pinatawad. At nakita natin dito, Si Nason, di ba? Uh, ganun din si Philip with his four daughters. Si Philip, kaibiga matalik niya, si Stephen. Pero alam na alam ni Philip, kaya namatay Stephen dahil sa kagagawa nitong Paul na to. Paul was still an unbeliever that time. So pinatawad na ni Philip yan. At tinanggap niya sarili niyang bahay. So, hospitality. Encouragement. Encourage mo yung mga kapatid. Okay? Faithfulness and then endurance. Never give up attitude. Pakasabi sa yung katabi, never ever give up. Oh, kita niya na. Walang laglaga dito. Walang iwanan sa Panginoon. Because Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Kung hindi tayo iwan ni Christ, hindi niya tayo pababayan, hindi niya tayo ilalaglag, Ganun na rin tayo sa kanya, okay? Sino rito mga mag-aasawa? Can I see your hands? Okay. Maaring nagsasama na kayo, hindi pa kayo kasal. By the way, this coming October, meron po tayong premarital counseling. Okay? So, sa inyo yung, if you are planning to get married, by next Sunday, pa-register na po kayo. We have our premarital counseling here. Wala po kayong babayaran. Sipin niya. And, eto pa maganda balita. That will be all Saturdays of October, 8 to 12.30 in the morning. Okay? Tandaan nyo. Di, wala pa tayong slide para dyan. Pero ina-announce ko na ahead of time. And two Saturdays sa November. Now, if you have five couples willing, eh, wala po kami masyadong pera. Gusto namin magpakasal. Hindi problema yung pera. O kaya, 
Meron na kami pera, pero gusto rin namin makatipid. Naku, maganda ito. You have five couples, meron tayong mass wedding by December 7. That will be the first wedding right here in our new home. O, gusto, sino sa inyo gustong maka-join doon? Ha? Makakatipid na kayo. Yung perang iniipon namin para sa one-day event, oy, gamitin nyo na yan sa pag-start ng inyong family. Okay? Ako, praktikalan na lang eh. Ba't kayo gagasta? Sobra-sobra. Hindi, sobra. maraming, maraming kami kaibigan, social friends namin, imbitahin namin lahat siya, isang libo limandaan eh. Papakamatay ka? Ha? Tapos utang na, hindi mo na mabayaran, sampun taon. Huwag ganon. Practical, you join. Okay, anyway, may time pa tayo para sa giant. Okay, this afternoon, what will be, what will be talking about, will be, be talking about, it is the life testimony of a faithful Christ servant. Pakisabi po, Go. Now, if you're a faithful Christ servant, what is your life testimony? Meron bang may kikwento that will bring glory and honor to God? Okay, pasimulan natin. In Acts 22, verses 1 and 2, notice, si Paul pinayagan magsalita. So ito na yung kanyang patotoo, saying, Brethren and fathers, hear my defense which I now give, offer to you. When they heard that he was addressing them in the Hebrew dialect, they became even more quiet and he said, no. Pansin niyo, brethren and fathers. Alam niyo ba, si Pablo, siya yung nandoon, binabantay niya yung mga quotes nung mga taong bumato at pumatay kay Stephen. Ba't sila nagalit kay Stephen? Ba't nila binato at pinatay si Stephen? Because Stephen also gave his testimony at that time. Stephen spoke to all the people, pinahayag niya yung kanyang patotoo. And he was witnessing for the Lord Jesus Christ. And he died. At alam niyo napakaganda, Stephen died. Pero before his death, sabi niya, Lord Jesus, do not count this sin against them. Grabe. Itong mga taong to, pinagbabato siya, yun ang ikinamatay niya. And yet, ang prayer pa niya kay Lord, Lord, Wag mong ibilang tong kasalaan sa Allah. Lord, patawari mo sila. Parang words ni Christ, they do not know what they're saying. Okay. Ano, ano yung patoto ni Stephen? Bakit ganyan na lang si Paul sa kanyang pasimula? Pakinggan niya. The high priest said, Are these things so? And Stephen said, Hear me, brethren and fathers. Now take note of that. Paul was there, galit siya kay Stephen. But when Paul committed his life to the Lord Jesus Christ also, yung mga salita ni Stephen na natili sa kanya. And that is why when it was Paul's time to give his own testimony, somehow ginaya niya si Stephen. Brethren and fathers. Di ba napakaganda? You see, we speak for the Lord even to People who are antagonistic, galit sila sa Christianity. Pero taniman pa rin natin ang salita ng Diyos. Because who knows, maybe later on, God will call them to serve Him. At yung life mo, nagkaroon ng impact sa kanila, gagayahin na nila yung salita mo. So sabi na ni Paul, I'm a Jew born in Tarsus of Cilicia, but brought up in this city, educated under Gamaliel. Si Gamaliel, one of the most respected Jewish teachers. Ang tawag nila sa teacher nila, Rabbi. But you'll be surprised, ang tawag nila kay Gamaliel, Rabban. Great teacher. So si Pablo, pinapakilal niya, ang mentor ko, ang nagturo po sa akin, is none other than our great teacher, Gamaliel. Kaya hindi just, just lang si Paul. Ha? Hindi basta-basta. Alam niyo ibig sabihin? Hindi lang just, just. Eh, basta, basta. Di ba? I am a Jew, educated under Gamaliel, strictly according to the law of our fathers, being zealous for God, just as you all are today. Now, take note, being zealous for God. Bakit ganon? Are you passionate for God? Zealous for God. Talks about this passion. Parang titingnan mo si Pablo, yung buhay ni Pablo, kung pwedeng 
Paano may describe yung boy ni Pablo? He was one man, passionate for God. Sa lahat ng kanyang gagawa, pag nagsalita yung kausap niya, may susulatan siya yung passion for God nandoon. Kasi gusto niya yung mga tao, makilala niyo ang ating Panginoong Yesus, ang buhay at makapangyarihang Diyos. So whether you're working, you're teaching, negosyante ka, studyante, nasa call center ka, ano mang ginagawa mo, question is, do people see your passion for God? Naririnig ba nila, uy, passionate itong tango ito? Because every opportunity, because of your love for God and your love for people, alam mo, pagpapalaki ka ng Panginoong Diyos if you only trust Him, our Lord Jesus Christ. Pakilala mo si Jesus Christ sa kanila. So, pinapakilala ba si Christ sa mga tao? Now, pagpapatuloy ni Pablo, ha? he was giving his own testimony. Ito mukhang hindi magandang porsyon eh. Bakit? Sabi niya, I persecuted this way to the death. Inuusig ko, ako yung taga persecute sa kanila. Binding and putting both men into prison, men and women into prisons, as also the high priest, all the council of the elders can testify. Maraming galit kay Pablo. Maraming yung mga anak na nawala ng ama dahil ikinulong. Grabe yung Pablo na yun. Paglaki ko, makikita. Eh, mga batang maliliit pa siguro, nagkakita siya. Ah, saan daddy mo? Wala, ipinakulong eh. Bakit? Yung Pablo na yun, Pablo. Oh, paglaki natin, oh. gantian natin yung Pablo na yun. Grabe yan. Ito yung kanyang patotoo. Hindi maganda. And yet, he was saying this because all the people knew. Kaya sabi niya, from them I also received, as, sabi nga, as also the high priest, all the council of the elders can testify. Alam nila ito eh. From them I also received letters to the brethren started off for Damascus in order to bring even those who were in Jerusalem as prisoners to be punished. Grabe. Ang kasalala lang ng mga tao, nagtiwala kay Jesus Christ. Sino yung anak ng karpintero? Grabe mga Si Raulo yung mga ina. Para kay Paul kasi, si Jesus Christ, sino ba yan, Jesus na yan? He was never a follower, never a believer during this time. Ha? Okay. Now, ito yung sinasalaysay ni Pablo. Before I committed to Christ, my life was such an ugly, terrible mess. Spiritually blind. Hindi ko alam kung saan ako pa to. Akala ko I was walking with God. Hindi pala. Bulag kasi ko eh. I persecuted the Christians. Inusig ko sila. And I was spiritually lost. I was thinking I was serving God. Hindi pala. Ligaw rin ako. And I was doomed to a horrible end. Yun ang patotoo ni Pablo. At ganun din po ako. Kahit religious po ako noon. Alam niyo, Kwento, some of you knew my testimony. Sakristan pa po ako at Latin. Luminous Bobby's moon at cum spiritu tua. Latin eh, hindi namin naintindihan niyo. Pero sige lang. Di ba? Oo, oh, paglabas na. No? Parang may halo na sa ano. Yabang, yeah, punta na kami langit. Yes, hey, baka lumampas tayo sa langit. Gawa naman tayong kalukuhan. Walang pagbabago. At mayroong missing sa buhay. Now, listen carefully. We don't come here every Sunday eh, kasi obligasyon eh. If that is your reason for coming here, my heart goes out to you. I'm praying to God. You will have a better, more reason in coming here. Hindi tayo pumupunta rito parang, oh, ang ganda to, sarap, parang Noah's Ark. Lalo kayo taga-ulam, malamig. Sobrang lamig. Kakatulog tayo doon. We come because we worship the throne of the living God. We come because we would like to minister to our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. And we come because God has a message for us. Kaya eh, huwag kayo matutulog. Pasa mo, huwag kang, kang matutulog. Let us listen. Pakinggan natin. Alam niya, uh, one time we were rebuked kasi po yung Yung parang preacher dito, nakakaantok. Malumanay ang salita, monotonous. Sino ba naman ang hindi uh, antok eh, sa ganyan magsalita? At alas hindi kumikilos. Kaya mga nakikinig, makinig na lang dito, matulog na lang tayo. Yung iba nag-walk out, nag-alisan. Galit yung pastor nila. Kasi invited speaker. 
ang iyayabang nyo. Makinig kayo sa mensahe. Kahit sabihin nyo, narinig ko na yan, narinig ko na yan pa ulit-ulit. Listen for God's message for you. May purpose si Lord why God brought you here. Meron siyang mensahe. Pakinggan yung kunin nyo yun. Precious yun. Hintayin nyo magkaroon kayo ng breakthrough. You might be going through a problem, mabigat na problema, gusto mo na magpatiwakal. Feeling mo, kinalimutan ka na, talalikura ka na, nadaigdig lahat-lahat. Ayoko na, sama na ako, tama na, sobra na. Handa ka na magdala ng placard. Tama na, sobra na. But God has a message for you because God loves you at hindi aksidente, dinala ka niya rito ngayon. Kaya pakisabi mo sa inyo, katabi, hindi aksidente, nandito ka. Ha? So pakinggan natin yung mensahe. At napakaganda na mensahe niya ng Panginoon. Hintayin natin, darating. But it happened that I was on my way. Ito na yung kinikwento na ni Pablo. Ito, papunta akong Damascus. Huhulihin ko na lahat sila. I have letters from the governor. Pero bigla na lang, while we were on the way to Damascus, lumiwanag yung araw, sombra-sombra liwanag. Yung kabayan sinasakyan ko, nataranta, lumundag, nahulog ako, at blinded na ako sa sombra liwanag. Who are you, Lord? Kasi narinig ko, soul, soul. Uy, pangala ko yung ako yun. Tinatawag ako, soul, soul. Why are you persecuting me? Huh? Paul was persecuting Christians. But Jesus told Paul, why are you persecuting me? Why? Si Jesus Christ pala pinapersecute pag pinersecute mo yung Christian. Because the Christians is the body of Christ. As a whole, collectively. The Christians, the followers of Christ, collectively. It is called the body of Christ. Christ Jesus is the head. Pag inusig natin yung mga Christians, inuusig natin si Jesus Christ. And that is why there must be no reason para tirahin mo yung kapatid mo sa Panginoon. Remember, your enemy is not flesh and blood. Huwag mo isipin, ang kaaway ko talaga yung misis ko, eh. yan ang pahamak sa buhay ko. Eh. <laughs> Hindi mo alam, yung misis mo, ikaw na rin nirereklamo. Nakapangasawa ako ng halimaw. May buntot pa sungay. Hindi yun. Why are you persecuting me, Saul? And then, who are you, Lord? Notice the change in Paul? Una, yabang niya eh. I'm serving God. Itong mga followers of the way na to, mga Christians, tinawag na silang Christians eh, Acts 17. Itong mga Christians na to, pero Acts 9, hindi pa pala sila tinatawag na Christians. Kaya hindi pa sila, hindi pa alam ni Paul na Christians yung mga yun. Followers of the way. Ito mga followers of the way, mga sira, ulo na ito eh. Naliligaw ng landas. Kaya nahuli sila ikulong para matauhan. Mayugyog, magising. Ha? Kahit na yung kulay ng bok nila, pula. Ha? Yung mga nagpapakulay ng pula ang bok. Mr. Dennis, welcome, ha? Saul, you are persecuting me. And then, who are you, Lord? He, he acknowledged, who are you, Lord? Huh? I am Jesus the Nazarene whom you are persecuting. So, dun sa Acts 9, verse 3, Paul was traveling, it happened that as he was approaching Damascus, and suddenly, a light from heaven flashed around him. Bakit emphasize yung and suddenly? Tingnan nyo, sa inyo bang buhay, meron kayong ganyan, a turning point in your life. A defining moment. A life-changing experience. Alam na alam mo. Ganitong buhay ko, kriminal, sira ulo ko, salbay akong tao. Lahat ng kabulastugan, lahat ng kalokohan, lahat ng kabuktutan, lahat ng mga ko ano-anong karimari-marim nakadidiri. Mga salitang malalalim na po. Some of you don't understand. Yun ang gawain ko. But, yung word, and suddenly, parang biglang kinuha. All of a sudden, there's a turning point. There's a defining moment. A life-changing experience. Can you identify? Meron bang ganyan nangyari sa buhay nyo? 
O wala, de, matend lang ako dito. Walang pagbabago. Eh. Tagal ko na matend sa church. Ganon pa rin. Eh. O, kaya, ano, tinanong ka, pagka namatay ka, sampu ta mo. Oh, eh, eh, di siyempre ililibing. <laughs> Hindi mo alam eh. Saan punta mo? Kung ngayon, baka sa impyerno. Hindi naintindihan. And that's the reason why importante alam natin because the Bible tells us and we know. Hindi kayo nanguhula, nangangapa. Saan kaya ako pagka namatay? Langit kaya ako, impyerno. Paano na ito? Sa, a, ano na? Paano na ba tayo? Ang kristyano, sigurado, relax lang. Sigurado siya. Ako'y makasalanan. Tinubos ng Panginoong Yesus. At dahil na eh, kilala ko siya, naintindihan ko ang ginawa niya, itong buhay na ito, sinuko ko na sa kanya. Ngayon, si Jesus Christ na Panginoon ng buhay ko. At sa buhay ko ito, ninanais ko siya parangalan. Sinusunod kong kalooban niya. Ginagawa ko lahat para maluwalhati siya. You understand me? You don't live for yourself. You live for the glory of God. You live by faith to honor Jesus. Importante po ito. Hindi para sa sarili. Hindi yung, pupunta ako sa Amerika, magkakaroon ako ng magandang hanap boy, malaki, Ma makakaipon na tayo, dito na tayo yayaman. Kung yan lang kayamanan na nasa utak mo, may God help you. Ito lang pinakamagandang discovery of the century. Buhay tayo pag uminom ka nito. Lahat ng sakit po, tanggal. Babata ka pa. After one year, para ka ng baby. Kasi bumata. <laughs> Bumaligtad yung paglago. Kawawa naman. Mamamatay rin tayo. Saan ka pupunta? Where will you spend eternity? And that's the reason why we need the Lord Jesus Christ. Notice that. And sa delimit. Turn around point. What shall I do, Lord? Kaya pinaliwanag sa kanya ng Panginoon. And then ito na, I was led by the hand of those who were me, came to the mask. Kasi bulag na siya, hindi na siya makakita. And you know what? I would imagine, as Paul was being led, doon na siya nagkaroon ng introspection. Doon na siya nagkaroon ng pag-iisip niya sa sarili. Doon na niya pinagtagpi-tagpi lahat. Jesus Christ, Messiah, ito ba yung hinahantay nating tagapagligtas? Siya na nga ba? Siya yung inuusig ko, pero siya pala yung Panginoon na dapat pinaglilingkuran ko. Doon na nakapag-isip-isip ng mabuti si Pablo. And so, a defining moment, an insightful time for personal introspection. Ano ba talagang hinahanap ko sa buhay? Bakit ako religious masyado? Ano ba itong ginago ako? Para saan? Masyado ko religyoso, lahat ng ritual sinusunod ko. Ito ba'y sigurado ako, langit ang patutunguhan ko ito? Ito bang totoong kalooban ng Diyos? Now, Paul realized what he was doing was all in opposition to what the Lord Jesus Christ wanted for him to do. Salvation is never something that we earn. Tandaan po natin yan. It's a free gift of God. Kaya baligtad eh. If you work for something, bayad yan. But salvation, hindi ba? It's a gift of God. Willingly, volitionally, readily receive all by your will. Walang pumilit sa'yo. Hindi yung hinata ka lang. Hindi yung tinula ka lang. Sige na, tanggapin mo na. This is your own. At pagka naitindihan natin, Panginoong Yesus, wow. Hindi ito religion, ha? And some people think, eh, religious naman ako, eh. Okay. So, religion mo sa'yo yan. Tago mo na yan. <laughs> sa'yo na yan. The important thing is, sino si Jesus Christ para sa'yo? Who are you, Lord? Yan doon. Matindi na nangyari kay Pablo. And God sent a certain Ananias. Natingnan niyo si Ananias. A man who was, a who was devout by the standard of the law. Grabe. Isang Jew na sobra-sobra sa kanyang commitment sa Judaism and a well-spoken of by all the Jews who live there. Talagang ginagalang mga Hudyo. Sabi ko, Lord, grabe, no? Kayo mga religious na tao, so, leader siguro ito ng no, mga Jews sa kanilang Judaism, and yet, tinawag mo. Kaya, hinahangaan siya, nire-respeto, sinusunod ng mga tao, ginagalang. At yun ang ginamit ni Ananias. 
Pag binasa natin sa chapter 9, sabi pa niya, Lord, eh, kilala mo yung tao, yun, yun ang musik, yun ang nagpapadala ng mga followers mo sa kulungan. Yeah, pero puntahan mo. Pero, kasi may purpose ako sa kanya. So it is God who chooses us. At pag alam mo, dinala ka dito, Lord, hindi aksidente to, Lord, dinala mo ako dito, may purpose ka, yung ba ay para isuko ko na yung life ko sa'yo. I have been living my life all along. But from this day on, Lord, mula ngayon, ikaw na hari, Panginoon, ikaw na ang tagapagligtas ng buhay ko. Have you ever done that? Sino sa inyo gumawa na nun? Can I see your hands? You have committed your life to Jesus Christ. Ayan, thank you. Okay, maya. O hindi natin doon, dapat ikaya. Sino sa inyo hindi pa sigurado? Hindi pa, hindi, hindi, ko yung, hindi pa ako sure dyan eh. O, sabi ko, wala magtataas ng kamay. Kasi ayaw niyo makakilala. Di ba? Uy. But God knows you. The Lord knows those who are His. Okay, let's continue. Now, why do you delay? Sabi nga niya, Ananias, get up and be baptized, wash away your sins, calling on His name. Balik tayo sa Acts 9, ito yung parallel incident. And immediately, there fell from his eyes something like scale. Sin, nabulag nga si Paul. He regained his sight, and he got up and was baptized. And he took food and was strengthened. Now, for several days, he was with the disciples who were at Damascus. Ano yung matututunan natin dito sa mga talatang ito? It is this. Our new life in Christ. When someone commits his life to the Lord, he becomes a brand new person. New life in Christ. A life of obedience. Sinusunod ni Pablo, nagpabaptize siya. A life of fellowship with the brethren. He stayed with them for several days. Nagkaroon na silang pagtitipon, pag-aaral sa lita ng Diyos. A life of prayer, discipleship, intimacy with our Lord Jesus Christ and His Holy Word. Kaya dito naintindihan na ni Pablo lahat-lahat. Kasi si Pablo was well trained in the laws of Moses. Alam nila yun eh. Si Gamaliel teacher niya, the Raban, the great teacher. Kaya this time, naging malinaw na lahat. Nakita niya buong blueprint. It was God. In fact, he even stayed for three years sa Arabia. And I do believe, again, pag-aaral ni Pablo doon. Na napakaganda nito. Question is, do we really know who our God is? Do you spend time with God and His Word? Are you part of a discipleship group? Hindi ba pwede Sunday lang? Sunday, atin ako Sunday. Ba't ka Sunday, ma-attend lang? Eh, syempre, doon kami kumakain sa Glorieta. Sarap yata doon. Ba't ganun? Di, God would like you to become more like His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ-likeness. Kaya kailangan lumalago tayo spiritually. Naintindihan ba natin yan? Okay, so, do you have these same disciplines in your life today? Kaya tanong, is the new life in Christ real? Talaga bang bagong buhay ka na kay Kristo? Parang sinabi ng ating kapatid dito, nung una, dadaan pala sa kalsada nila, ha? puro mga inuman doon, toma, mga sugal, pagdaan pala, si ano, tabihan yan eh. Kasi kinatatakutan siya eh. Parang si Arnold George Neger, kilala niyan? Si Arnold. Arnold, saan ka? Okay lang, kinikwento kita, chismis. <laughs> Chini-chismis natin buhay ni Arnold. And then, our lives are open. Tes testimony sa Panginoon. Alam niyo, kakatuwa yung kapatid, binago ng Diyos. Lahat yan, ang Google Pipa. Tanongin niyo, misis, di ba? Sino? Sana si Brenda. Bren, yan ka ba? O, di ba? Sinasaktan ka nung una. Ngayon, may physical pa ba? Wala na. Pagsasakit, wala na. Okay. Masaya na sila. In fact, Mga facilitator sila sa ating premarital counseling. Oh, kita nyo na yun. Paano inaayos ni Lord yung mga mag-asawa? At lahat no nagiging breakout group nila, tuwan-tuwa sa mag-asawa niya kasi marami sila natututunan. Kasi nung una, ano yan eh, World War III, yung dalawa. Ah, war. Tapos paano kayo nabago? O oh, si Lord Jesus Christ. Talaga si Lord. How God changes us. Amen po ba? Okay, let's continue. It happened when I returned to Jerusalem I was praying in the temple, I fell into a trance. So, nagkikwento pa rin si Pablo regarding dito sa mga karanasan niya, dito na sa Jerusalem. 
At uh, sabi ng Panginoon, make haste, get out of Jerusalem quickly because they will not accept your testimony about me. Sabi niya, Lord, teka mo na. Alam nila lahat na punta ako from synagogue to synagogue para hulihin yung mga tao na roon. Kilala nila ako. Bakit hindi sila maniniwala sa akin? Na, lovely intimate moments with our Lord Jesus Christ, conversing, reasoning, arguing with Him. Alam niyo minsan, kasi importante ito, akala natin, Panginoon, ha, tatakot tayo lumapit kay Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our friend. Pwede natin siya lapitan. Makipag-usap tayo, makipagkwentuhan, makipag-argue. You remember one time na I told you the story, I, I, mga anak na si Mises, di ba? Ang prayer namin, Lord, uh, normal delivery, healthy baby boy, tsaka mura lang ang babayaran namin sa hospital. Nung dinala ko na sa hospital, sa doktor, nung doktor sa akin, Sir, uh, kailangan yung Mises nyo, ECS na natin. Hindi pwede, delikado kasi yung opening maliit. Nako, ganito, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Nakikinig lang ako sa kanya, CS na raw, ang gagawin nila. Uh, uh, okay, nung natapos na siya, at umalis, hindi, hindi pa ako nagbibigay decision, umalis, hanap ako ng lugar, kami dalawang dalawa ni Lord, sabi ko, Lord, di ako papayag. Lord, ang aming prayer, healthy baby boy, normal delivery, hindi ako papayag na CS yan, Lord. Alam mo naman, prayer namin, maliit lang babiyara sa hospital. O, oh, talagang ganun, nakipag-argue ako kay Lord. Siyempre, pagka ganun, Lord, di ba nangako ka kung dalawa sa amin magkaisa, ano man ang aming hiligay, bibigay mo? Lord, Tatalikuran mo ba pangako mo? Hindi pwede yun. Tapat ka sa pangako mo, Lord. Kaya itong prayer namin mag-asawa, nagkaisa kami rito, itong gagawin mo, Lord. Ganon katapang. Because our God is a personal God. He is a loving Father. At nag-aanyaya siya sa atin. Alam yung sabi niya? Isaiah 1.18 Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Gusto ni Lord, makipag-reason tayo sa Kanya eh. Kaya natutuwa ako doon sa mga moments na, Lord, ganito pa nga ako, hindi pwede yan. Kaya, eh, after some time, pagbalik ko, congratulations sa akin. Congratulations, Mr. Disipulo. Healthy baby boy. Normal delivery. <laughs> Normal delivery. Ba? At meron pa isa. Lo, ano po yun? Say, wala na akong, yun lang eh. Hindi ko pa naman nilalabas. Hindi pa alam yung babayaran, di ba? Healthy baby boy. Normal delivery. Pero sabi na, nurse, may isa pa. Ano yun? Sir, singer yung anak nyo. Ha? Eh, ang lakas ang iyak eh. Yung anak kong yun, singer si Joshua. Kaya, importante po ito. Who is your God? Sagutin nyo nga. Who is your God? And in the light of who your God is, who are you? Sino ka ba talaga? Kaya nga, kailangan naintindihan natin to eh. Nung dinala ko pala ang ko sa hospital, ay, sir, hindi pwede, di, magpa, dumuna kayo sa kabilang hospital, magpa-x-ray kayo, yun, no? nilabas kami, tinuro pa, yun, no? yung touring yun, nakita nyo, yun, hospital yun, magpa-x-ray muna kayo doon, di pwede, sira yung, hospit, yung x-ray machine namin dito sa hospital, eh. Naawa ako sa amin sarili. Punta kami sa sakyan, pero pray, Lord, ba't ganun? Di ba mga anak mo kami? Eh, bakit pinagtatabuyan kami? Lord, hindi ako papayag. Mga anak mo kami, we are, Royal heirs with our Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? Noble blood. Hindi lang noble. Godly blood. Na. Biblin blood. Bible. Lord, na kahit wala x-ray, papayagan na kami tatanggapin. In Jesus' name, eh, agree kami pero sa pagbalik. Explain. Tinanggap na. Walang x-ray. Alam nyo, minsan yung enemy, sasabihin, hindi pwede yan. Hindi ka narinig ng Diyos. Hindi sasagutin ng Lord. Malabo! Yung imposible sa Panginoong Diyos ay posible. At sinabi ni Jesus Christ, to him who believes, anong sinabi niya? Nothing is impossible. Do you believe? If you believe, yun ang promise ni Lord, do you have the faith to claim that promise? Who is your God? And who are you in the light of who your God is? And when the blood of your witness, Stephen, was being shed, I was standing by approving, oh, go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. So ito mga patotoo ni Pablo. Napakaganda ito. Life testimony of a faithful Christ servant. Ano yan? Life before Christ. Well, tinapos na natin. And then the turning point in my life. At ngayon, life of faith in Jesus today. Do you have that passion? Do you have that passion for God? Are you passionate for God? Tanangin mo sarili mo. Do you have that joyful obedience 
excited ka pa sumunod. Lord, medyo mahirap to, pero excited ako gawin kasi papakita mo ang power mo. The more impossible the task, the greater the power of God you will see. Kaya ako hindi ako natatakot. Lord, di namin kaya to. Pero excited ako kasi papakita mo yung kapangyarihan mo. Your hand will move in a mighty special way. Are you a Christian? Are you a true follower of Christ? Are you a faithful witness? Alam nyo, walang pili-pili sa Diyos, ha? God does not respect any person. Walang favoritism sa Diyos. Kung may mga milagrong ginagawa ang Diyos sa buhay ko, kaya niyang gawin sa buhay ni naman sa atin. Sino ka? How do you look at yourself? Empleyado. Sino ka? Anak ng tatay ko. Who are you? Kasama bang Panginoong Diyos sa pag-identify mo sa sarili mo? Okay? So, anong message natin this afternoon? Life testimony of a faithful Christ servant. At this time, may Lord's Supper tayo. And bago yan, sino sa inyo dito, you are so sure, pag namatay kayo, langit kayo. Not because of anything you have done, but all because of what Jesus Christ did for you. Taas ang kamay, okay? I, I don't see everybody raising hands. Kung ikaw sa sarili mo hindi ka sure, you have to understand, number one, God loves you. Now, some people would disagree with me. Bakit mo sasabihin, God loves you? Kung sinner yan, mahal ba yan ni Lord? Kasi padadala niya yan sa impyerno. Ano sinabi ng Biblia sa atin? Sa totoo, all of us are sinners. Even from the very beginning, from Adam and Eve, makasalanan tayong lahat. And what does the Bible say? But God demonstrates His own love toward us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So whether you're a saint or a sinner, God loves you. Do not use philosophy. Colossians 2.8, delikado po yan. I don't agree with people who say, hindi mo masasabing God loves that person. Eh, yun ang sinasabi ng Bible eh. God loves you. And the more, mere fact that you're here, dinala ka dito ni Lord. If you acknowledge you're a sinner and you cannot save yourself, and you believe that only Jesus Christ who died on the cross as your substitute, He fully paid for all the penalty of your sin. And if you trust Him as your Lord and Savior right now, the Bible says, you will become a child of God. Patatawari lahat ng kasalanan mo. Bibigyan ka ng buhay na walang hanggan. Wala po tayo ibang pangahawakan. Wala po tayo ibang maipagmamalaki. We can only stand upon the promises of God, Lord. Kayo nang ako. If I trust you as my Lord and Savior, believing this salvation is your gift to me and I receive it wholeheartedly. And from this day on, I repent of all my sins. Tinatalikuran ko na lahat ng kasamaan, kasalanan, kalasuan. Mula ngayon, Panginoon, empower me by your Spirit para mabuhay for your glory and honor. Then God gives you that beautiful right to become a child of God. Tayo po'y manalangin. Panginoon, ihanda mo ang puso ng bawat isa sa amin even before we partake of the Lord's Supper. Your word tells us, He who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner shall eat and drink judgment to himself. Lord, wag mo pahintulutan na magpartake kami na hindi namin naintindihan what this is all about. Your word tells us we do this in remembrance of you. We look back to the day Jesus died for us 
And we look forward to the day Jesus comes again to take us to himself so that where our precious Lord Jesus Christ is, there we will also be. And habang hinihintay namin ang muling pagbabalik mo, Lord, right now, here and now, we would like to live, to please you, to honor you, to glorify you, to magnify you, Lord, to obey you. God, I pray, bawat isa sa amin dito, even right now, magtitiwala ng buong puso sa iyo, Panginoong Jesus. Ikaw na ang aking tagapagligtas at Panginoon, wala nang iba. And if you're willing to trust Him, you may repeat those words, Panginoong Jesus, mula ngayon, pagharian mo ako, pagkat nais kong mabuhay para sa iyo, inaalay kong buhay na ito sa iyo, tinatanggap ko ang kaloob mong kaligtasan, kapatawaran sa mga kasalanan, buhay na wala hanggan, karapatan maging anak ng Diyos. Aming ama, maraming salamat pong muli. Let there be great rejoicing before the angels of God in heaven over those of us here who have expressed our faith in you, dear Lord Jesus Christ. At sa aming pagsasalo-salo sa Lord's table, Wala kaming ibang naisin ko di luwalhatiin. Parangalang ka, Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Ipahayag na namatay ka para sa amin, para tubusin kami sa aming mga kasalanan. At ikaw ngayon nabubuhay sa aming mga buhay, ngayon sa aming mga puso at kaisipan. At wala kaming ibang hangarin kundi papuri at parangalang ka. Katulad ni Pablo, passionate for God. Makikita ito as we work, as we deal with our fellow men sa family, sa workplace, sa church, sa community, wherever we are, sa sports club, God, kung saan kami naroon, sa school, sa business establishments, pagsa-shopping, entertainment, sa lahat-lahat, Panginoon, na kayong maluluwalhati sa buhay namin. Maging sa aming pananalita, gracious words, mga words na magbibigay ng inspirasyon sa makakarinig ng mga ito. Maging courage sa kanila, O God. Tulungan mo kami, maging bahagi ng iyong small group fellowship, O God, because we belong to you. Father, we thank you. All glory, praise, and honor belong to you. And this we pray in Jesus' holy name. Okay. So, sabay-sabay po tayo magpapartake. Thank you so much, Brother Kyle. Sinasabi po ng Biblia, I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus, in the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Sama-sama po tayo, sabay-sabay. Thank you, Lord. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. So there is a looking back to Calvary and a looking forward to His coming again. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in so doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body. Rightly. So, naalala po natin ating mensahe this afternoon. Life testimony of a faithful Christ servant. Let's all partake. Shall we all stand up? Our loving Father God, we thank you, Lord. It's always a joy and a privilege to be in your holy and loving presence, Father God, to worship you, to honor, glorify, magnify you to sing songs of praise and worship unto you, to be with our brethren in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, kayo nagsabi, love one another as I have loved you. All will know that you are my disciples because of your love for one another. From now on, Lord, mula ngayon, tulungan mo, magiging gracious kami, maging loving, maging mapagpaumanhin, mapagpatawad na rin po. Maging maalalahanin, matulungin, oh God, hindi lang sarili iisipin, kundi aming kapwa, Panginoong Diyos, sa aming mga labi, 
wala nang malalasmang salita, maaanghang, masasakit na pananalita, magmumula rito gan. Kundi sa aming pananalita, maka-encourage, maka-inspire, maka-build up. Maging aming pakikitungo sa aming kapwa, Panginoong Diyos, na wa kayo ang makikita sa amin. Especially sa aming sariling tahanan. And Lord, hindi lang kami, kundi aming mga unsaved loved ones. Lord, we thank you indeed. At tulungan mo, maging witnesses kami. Faithful witnesses of our Lord Jesus Christ. Na. Hindi lang sa pangiimbita, kundi pag-share ng gospel message. Tulungan mo mahalin ka namin, Lord, at ang iyong banalasalita. Maging consistent kami, intentional, sa araw-araw. I-develop namin, i-nurture namin ang aming love relationship with you, Lord Jesus Christ, ang bawat isa sa amin na naririto. Panginoon, we thank you. And may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Spirit of the living God be upon you from this day on until the Lord comes back. In Jesus' holy and loving name, all the saints of God say, Amen, amen and amen. God bless you.